Well, chapter 8 is about lipids. And these are the topics we'll be covering. What is a lipid? A lipid is an organic compound that is found in living organisms. It is insoluble or just barely soluble in water. But it is, so it's insoluble in water, but it is soluble in nonpolar organic solvents, things like hexane. Unlike other biomolecules that we've talked about, lipids don't have common structural features that serve as the basis for defining them. So with the, um, like with the carbohydrates, they all had some common features that helped us to define them as carbohydrates. Lipids don't have that. We can classify lipids um, by two methods, either by their biochemical function or by saponification, which is hydrolysis under basic conditions, whether they can be saponified or not. There is a great deal of structural diversity in lipids, and this, this diagram here kind of gives us an overview of this. Um, some of these are esters. Do you recognize the ester group in here? There's an ester group here. Some of these are amides. Let's see if we can find an amide. Here's one over here. There's an amide group. Some of them are alcohols. So here's a, a saccharide. That's, that's got an alcohol group on it. Let's see. One of these other ones must have. Oh yeah, up here. Here's an alcohol group. Um, and we have cyclic compounds and acyclic compounds. And, and this one's actually polycyclic. So there's just a lot of variation in lipids. All of these guys are lipids. So if we classify them based on biochemical function, these are the groups we end up with. Energy storage lipids, and these are the triacyl glycerols. Membrane lipids, which include phospholipo phospholipids, sphingoglycolipids, and cholesterol. Emulsification lipids, which include the bile, a bile acids. Messenger lipids, such as steroid homo hormones and eicosanoids. And then protective coating lipids, um, which are biological waxes. So we're going to examine each of these categories. The classification based on saponification is does saponification occur or not? So saponifiable liquids are the triacylglycerols, the phospholipids, the sphingoglycolipids, and the biological waxes. The non-saponifiable lipids are cholesterol, steroid homo hormones, bile acids, and eicosanoids. So the ones that are saponifiable will be broken down into smaller molecules by hydrolysis, and the others are not. They just do not react with water, even under basic conditions.